This is the Ecobee Smart Thermostat. In this video, we're going to unbox the contents. We're going to show you how we replaced an old thermostat with this new smart thermostat. Now it's connected to your Wi-Fi. You can control it using your Android smartphone, your Apple iPhone, but you can control it with other in-home smart speakers like Google Home or Apple's HomeKit and even Amazon Echo. Alexa, set thermostat to 78. We're going to get started right after this. So part of our review is going to actually be to review how easy or how difficult you find it to be to install the Ecobee. We should note first what types of systems this Ecobee thermostat is compatible with. And we're looking at the installation manual that came with the Ecobee smart thermostat. So it will work with heating systems up to two stages, cooling systems up to two stages, heat pumps one or two stages, plus up to two stages of auxiliary heat, and accessories like dehumidifiers, humidifiers, or other types of ventilation devices. This is the Ecobee Smart Thermostat. It has built-in Wi-Fi, and later on in the video, we're gonna put it up next to an older thermostat so you can get some perspective as to its size. And here on the right is the remote sensor. We're gonna explain its purpose and some of the functions a little bit later as well. Now, if your existing uh, HVAC system already has a C-wire installed, which many more modern homes do, you won't need this component, but Ecobee does supply it. It's called a power extender kit. We're going to go into that a little bit more during the installation tips. We'll explain the C-wire and we'll explain how this power extender kit can be used if you don't have a C-wire. And also they have a little clear plastic acrylic stand to uh, use to attach your remote sensor using the two-sided sticky tape they provide. They also provide the various uh, mounting hardwares. And finally, they have a decorative mounting plate for the smart thermostat. They include written installation instructions. They have uh, sticky wire labels that will help you properly remove your old thermostat and put the new one in correctly. quick start guide for setting up your Ecobee smart thermostat and then some logo stickers. Now before we go any further we want to re-mention if you're not comfortable with this process hire a professional whether it's a professional HVAC contractor or somebody who is certified and familiar with installing the Ecobee system. We want to show you a quick perspective. You're looking at an older thermostat that we're going to be replacing with the Ecobee. So you can see the size. And that's the Ecobee adjacent to the thermostat on the right that we're replacing. And here is the trim ring for the Ecobee itself. Okay, before we jump into the installation of the Ecobee thermostat, instructions tell us we need a Phillips head screwdriver. And we also need a drill bit, which is a 3 16 inch to put the anchors into the wall so that the thermostat stays securely fastened to the wall. The first instruction that we're told is to turn off power to our HVAC system. So what you see on your screen is a portion of the HVAC system and the thermostat wires that are coming into it and out of it and then a breaker box for the HVAC that's specific to it. And we're just going to throw that switch. A quick glance at the screen of our thermostat and we see that power is in fact shut off at the thermostat. You'll want to make sure you turn power off to your thermostat because not all thermostats receive their power from the HVAC system like we just showed you. Step two, we're going to pull the faceplate of the thermostat from the mounting plate and label the wires as they show here. Now with our old thermostat, we have to first remove this door fairly easy to do. It's just with some pins. And then on the side, there are a couple of clips 
with a little flathead screwdriver, undo those clips, and it comes right off. Now in the next step, what I wanted to do was I wanted to remove this particular old thermostat's circuit board from the mounting plate that's fastened to the wall. And if you'll notice, the thermostat wire coming out from behind the wall is actually a pretty sturdy wire. So we had to carefully finesse this out from the clips on its mounting plate. Now that it's loose, we can gently pull the wire from the wall and that'll give us a lot of room to work with when we start the process of labeling each wire. Look how small the screw terminals are on the old thermostat. It would be advantageous to back those out and simply undo the wire. Now you can snip the wire really close right there and then restrip it and label them and do them one at a time so you don't make a mistake, but it would be advisable to use a screwdriver, a really small one. Now I've rotated the old thermostat up and you can see the terminal labels. So this second terminal in from the left has a yellow wire that's labeled Y1. And the stickers, the label stickers that uh, Ecobee provides in the kit has a Y1 right there. Now that we've applied the labels, we want to get a good clear record of each wire and the wire label and then transfer one wire at a time from the old thermostat to the new thermostat. We decided it was advantageous to go ahead and purchase a small screwdriver set like this one right here because we don't want to have to restrip the thermostat wires. Now we'll remove the old mounting plate from the wall and put the new Ecobee mounting plate up. You're looking at three pieces. We're going to use the large circular mounting plate and then we disconnected the terminal connector from the base plate of the Ecobee and we're going to just pop it into place right here. So I used the built-in level to the Ecobee mounting base, which that's super convenient, to align my holes and now I just need to mount the plate. the mounting plate up and level. I can slowly untangle my wires and then line them up to the respective terminals on the Ecobee base. I'm going to start hooking up the wires at the bottom right and work my way up and then move over to the bottom left and work my way up. That way I should be able to see all the labels and the wires very simply. Alexa, set thermostat to 80. Setting thermostat AC to 80. We needed a little bit of quiet on the set to film this last segment. So we want to give a summary in relation to actually setting up the Ecobee system once we had it correctly wired. So we went back into the uh, HVAC system and we turn the power on obviously because it has power and it immediately woke up it said hello and it walked us through some setups and at this point in time during the setup we were on the telephone with technical support and it's a good thing that we were on the phone with technical support because there was a question that popped up on the Ecobee screen that we couldn't answer and that question was specific to how our HVAC system itself operated and it was specific to the manufacturer 
uh, of the HVAC system. We didn't even know what the question meant, but the technical support people instantly knew and had us address the question. So we simply connected to our Wi-Fi right here on the screen that you're actually looking at on uh, your screen. And the setup was very, very easy. We as, as well, we created an account online with Ecobee and we downloaded the application to our smartphone and we logged into our account and we were able to connect it to, uh, in this case, an Amazon Echo, which we're gonna put a link at the end of this video to show you how to connect it to an Amazon Echo. Then the last part of this video, uh, this is an Ecobee 3. Uh, it comes with, as we mentioned at the very onset of the video, a remote sensor. Um, most homes uh, could benefit from a remote sensor and uh, this is not an exception. This is the remote sensor right here. And the remote sensor uh, measures and reports the temperature of another room in the house back to this main unit wirelessly and we're going to set that up uh, in just a moment it we just pull this clear plastic tape and it will automatically register and link up with our Ecobee system here now this particular uh, remote unit that comes with the Ecobee 3 not not the Ecobee 3 light but the Ecobee 3 which is a slightly more advanced package it has built-in uh, motion detection so if it notices motion in that remote room once the uh, Ecobee system starts to uh, figure out your habits in the house it'll adjust the temperature so that it's comfortable uh, per your preference and of course you have complete control over all of this but standing right at your Ecobee while it's awake as it is right now we're just going to pull this tape and it automatically shows up and we press the S button right there and it's pairing. And then we're just gonna simply attach this to that clear acrylic uh, mount and place it in the room that we want. When you pull that, the back comes out and you just pop that clear plastic stand right on there. And then you place it tabletop uh, you can hide it behind a picture screen if you want to disable the motion detection feature as well. Hey, that wraps up this video on the Ecobee 3 review and how to change out your old thermostat. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, uh, send it to a friend, and we hope you have a great day.